Here is an extremely difficult application and thinking problem with inverse function. It says draw a relation such that its inverse has the following domain and range. Domain x such that x is equal to minus 2, x is less than or equal to minus 5, x is greater than or equal to 3 and less than 8, and x belongs to real numbers. And range is range y such that y is less than or equal to minus 5, y is greater than 1 and less than or equal to 4, y is greater than 6, and y is not equal to 8. Now that is, and y belongs to real numbers. So that is the question, and a graph paper is given to us to plot this function, rather relation, right? Now I like you to copy this problem, think about it, and there are some keywords which you should mark. For example, here draw a relation. So it is not a function; it is a relation, right? And what is given to us is inverse domain and range, right? So inverse of domain and range is given to us and we have to draw the relation such that it inverses this. So, so what is given to us is inverse domain and range. So first thing what we should do is find domain and range of the relation. So first step is find domain and range of relation, right? That is the first thing. And of course, domain will be, you have to flip it, right? So whatever is range for inverse becomes the domain. So write that as x such that x is, you now, now you can copy all this, right? Minus 5 and x is between 1 including 4 and x is greater than 6 and x is not equal to 8 and x belongs to real numbers. So that is your domain and now write down your range. The range is y such that y is equals to minus 2 and y is less than equals to minus 5 and you have y which is greater than equal to 3 less than equal less than 8 and y belongs to real numbers right so that is your domain and range of the relation and now once you've given all this then you have to actually speaking sketch the relation now in such difficult problems because not a straightforward thing uh, we will need help of some colored pens now when we say domain of this relation is that x is less than minus 5 so let's say this is our graph paper and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is minus 5 for us. So the domain is anything and everything including 5 on this side, right? So let me use a part of my graph paper itself and this is my rough work, right? So I'm saying this is my domain and it is also between 1 and 4. So this is 1. 1 is not included but 4 is included. So 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So one two three four this is included right and x is greater than six so after four five six greater than six that means six is also not included so we have a hole here and greater than six seven and eight is not included not including eight but otherwise everything else is included so this orange line in the horizontal gives me the domain which i need for my relation. Now, as far as range is concerned, it says range is that it is equals to minus 2. So somewhere here we need a point and then y is less than minus 5. So, so minus 5 will be, uh, we can use this part, 1, 2, th so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is minus 5. So that means it is less than equal to. So we'll include this and this part is included right and then we say y is between 3 and 8 including 3 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 between this and this but not including 8 so we include 3 
and we do not include 8 so we have a hole here so that is the range part plus we have minus 2 so in minus 2 also we have a dot somewhere now as you can see I have approximate idea of where to draw the lines correct and how to draw them now since now it becomes simpler for me right now it becomes really simpler for me uh, since I can you know look into it and then do something about it now as we know this point is included from both the sides and we can go this direction both the direction so I can draw a straight line here with an arrow so that takes care of both x is less than equals to minus 5 and y is less than equals to minus 5 so we have taken care of both these with this arrow starting with minus 5 right so here we have minus 5 and this is minus hmm, 1 2 3 4 this is minus 5 right so that is first thing we took care of now we say domain is between 1 to 4 and when we have 1 to 4 domain so this is my 1 and uh, here it is 1 to 4 1 is not included so we will try to map 1 to 4 with 3 to 8 we say at 4 the point is included so at 4 the value is 3 do you understand that part at 4 the value is 3 so this is 1 2 3 4 at 4 the value is 3 so that is my solid point which is the value at 3 but at 1 the value is 8 which is not included so at 1 the value is 8 which is not included so I can make this part here and if I join them with a straight line then everything in between is included that means x belongs to real numbers correct so we have taken care of these points which I'm trying to highlight as we move along now now x is less than 6 that in domain part rather greater than x is greater than 6 so we have one we already have this mark here x is greater than 6 okay now what what do we have to do here x is greater than 6 but we have nothing to show x is greater than 6 so what we will do in this particular case since we know we can go down so we will choose the point x anywhere but we cannot go up because that is the limitation on range right so on range we have covered everything now we will start from here so x can be greater than 6 that means we are here and this point is not included so we have a hole here right now but we can go downwards we cannot go up since this portion is not included in the range Do you get it so we can go downwards but when we go downwards we have to make a hole at 8 so we'll make a hole here also and then continue with a line and an arrow do you see that and downwards arrow right since in range we have x y equals to minus 5 so we have taken care of x greater than 6 which we combined with y less than equal to minus 5 less than equal to we have already taken care of here but it can overlap right now next point is x is not equal to 8 with this hole we have ensured that x is not equal to 8 so this point is 8 for us this point is 6 for us and these points are 1 and 4 right correct now the only point left for us which is not highlighted we have taken care of this with the help of this hole that y is equal to minus 2 now minus 2 is somewhere here which we can put anywhere so it is better to put along these lines where we already have the domain right so anywhere along these lines we can put y equals to minus 2 so it's not a bad idea to put minus 2 here itself correct so that type of a graph now ensures that we have taken care of each and everything but it is kind of very tricky so when you get this kind of of a graph it is better to have some guidelines and once you have a guidelines you can draw it right now it's a good time to write your scale and your scale is 1 here and minus 1 on this side and minus 1 on this side and everything I think you got it on place and imagine so the graph is shown in pink so this this actually shows graph 
right? And whatever is shown like this is rough work, right? So this shows rough, rough work in my graph. So actual answer is shown in pink and that covers all what was being asked for, right? So this is, this is the relation and if you do inverse, you will get, you know, domain range as we were looking forward to. So this is a very difficult question and I like you to go through it. And you know, there could be many different answers for this, but I've done kind of a simpler approach, just drawn simple lines to get what is required. I hope you like it. Thank you.